Drake and J. Cole's relationship is currently rocky, in a professional sense, anyway. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. The rappers were best friends for the most of 2023, collaborating on several projects and going on several tour dates. Then Kendrick Lamar appeared and sparked conflict. Cole made the decision to give up and switch sides while Drake went to war with the nice child. J. Cole has a noteworthy list of collaborations since the Big Three conflict. Rappers who opposed Drake during the conflict made up the majority. ASAP Rocky, Future and Metro Boomin, and now, Daylit. On September 23rd, J. Cole and Daylit collaborated on the fantastic song A Plate of Collard Greens. As usual, both MCs deliver amazing wit in this song. Backseat in a police car, but never cop out. The po too low to stop down. On the other hand, J. Cole's verse seems to make several references to Drizzy. The creator of Dreamville launches into a long diatribe about Michael Jackson, the king of pop. Someone that Drake has frequently drawn comparisons to throughout the years, most notably on his J. Cole collaboration song First Person Shooter. He even tied Michael Jackson for the most number one singles by a male solo artist thanks to the success. Dangerous is the king of pop, how well they spin your block, J. Cole spits. No moves, minimal, smooth criminals. The rapper has always claimed to be the best, but he has never given Michael Jackson a special thanks. Drake is also covered by the next line. The whole gang do an insane amount of lean, he raps. This ain't prescribed cause there's no doc for pain they harboring. Drake and Lil Durk have a new song on the way in which the former talks about quitting lean. The collab, which was played by Adam Ross on September 4th, is titled Discontinuing Lockhart. Although the song seems like a possible success, some listeners might not understand the lyrics. Lil Durk does some rapping at the beginning of the clip, but Drake really shines in a number of ways. When he starts the song, his melodic flow is so appealing that Adam Ross even made a comment about it. Ooh, he slid. Drake's bars in Discontinuing Lockhart will draw notice more than the song's rhythm or tune. The rapper declares at the beginning of his line that he's giving up on lean, singing, discontinuing Wachart, but still do I pop now. Wachart is a cough medicine that contains a mixture of codeine and promethazine. At least that's how it's meant to be. Lean is also made with it. Lil Yachty, a buddy of Drake's from the past, utilized the brand as the inspiration for his song Walk in 2022. It's important to think about the snippet's timing. Fans recently criticized Drake over a video that seemed to show him drinking while leaning against his kid Adonis. In the footage, which is seen from Drake's point of view, he gets into a car while holding what appears to be a cup of coffee. The rapper's seemingly indifferent behavior toward his youngster infuriated many. In addition, he came under fire for initially consuming such a strong concoction in front of a youngster. Unlike other rappers, Drake has not incorporated lean into his image. The most notable example of someone basing their entire atmosphere and sound after drinking would be Future. But he has acknowledged consuming it as far back as 2011. Drake discussed his drug use during his ascent to fame in an interview with The Guardian. Have I sipped codeine before? Yeah, of course, he told the outlet. Have I smoked weed? Yes. Do I drink wine? Yes. But do I do it excessively? No, I'm not a reckless guy. I do it all within moderation. Sounds like Lean have been taken out of rotation, though, if the new song is to be believed. Although DJ Head took a strong stance in the Kendrick Lamar and Drake feud by playing at the pop out, he has more to say about the Toronto superstar than just criticism. Additionally, he just showed him some respect on hip hop X's Elliot Wilson hosted podcast The Bigger Picture. Thank you, Drake, what you've done for the ecosystem. <laughs> We appreciate you. No, I'm not even I'm not even throwing shade. The at Jackademic TV caption for this clip is largely pro Drizzy and anti K dot, which makes sense considering Academic's ongoing spat with head. Drake has done more for hip hop than a lot of people give him credit for. Nevertheless, despite the impression that Kendrick created with his diss tracks, the California native believes that the boy deserves a great deal of recognition for his contributions to hip hop. Because he's actively participated in the culture the whole time. DJ Head's remarks began on the bigger picture. There's, there's credit to be owed for that. He's also used his platform to benefit others outside of himself. He concluded, with Jeremy Hecht asserting that he has a family tree. Drake appears to be attempting to demonstrate this with his 100 gigs content drops, which highlight his involvement in the rap industry for more than 10 years. Though we're not precisely sure what this game would entail, his aggressive new music suggests that he wants to play game two with Kendrick Lamar. Will their upcoming albums be a sales war or just another lyrical back and forth? Will they truly fight one other once more, or does Aubrey want to concentrate on winning the long game and maintaining his position as the best in the business? In response to Academic's recent allegations that Kendrick Lamar is about to release a new album, DJ Head addressed the claims in the most recent episode of The Bigger Picture. For the show, DJ Head had posted a straightforward baseball cap emoji on X in response to Axe's forecast from earlier this month. He then sent out another mysterious message, Dot don't really talk to nobody, especially not Ak. The man himself responded to the latter tweet, which many took to be a jab at academics. It sounded like he thought DJ Head was criticizing his recent forecast of a new Kendrick Lamar album. 
DJ Head, I'm the greatest single journalist you've ever heard of, Axe said during a live stream. I built a 20 plus year industry by doing this shit. I played Drake's video and Drake had to ask me, how'd you get it? Elliot Wilson, the editorial director of hip hop journalism at DX's parent company, Uprock Studios, joked that Head got ethered by academics in the most recent episode of The Bigger Picture, which aired on Saturday, August 31st. Wilson then questioned, is Kendrick coming out with an album anytime soon? DJ Head's response was not right now, though he did note academics has sources. Head used the chance to politely address the situation, raising concerns about the accountability and role of media personalities such as academics. He questioned the panelists on whether they thought academics was the best journalist working today. Head, Wilson, and Jeremy Hecht of Hip Hop Dex declined the invitation. Though Head agreed that academics had succeeded in amassing millions of followers on a sizable platform, he questioned whether this alone made Act the greatest in the industry. The West Coaster clarified that he regards his role as a journalist with great seriousness. In addition to being a fantastic musician, Kendrick Lamar is also a family man, an entrepreneur, and a true anime villain who presumably wags his tail when his plot to rule the world proceeds exactly as expected. Many admirers came to this final conclusion during his historic struggle with Drake, and even his cousin Baby Keem concurs. Additionally, the affiliate of PG Lang forwarded a widely shared joke on Twitter regarding K-Dot, which goes, Kendrick the type of Anna to disappear after the bus passes. While it's amusing to consider that Kendrick saw all the memes centered around his feud with Drizzy, it's even more absurd to consider Keem's involvement and then trolling of online communities. Moreover, this marks the first interaction between Baby Keem and Kendrick Lamar that the public has seen since possibly their combined Vegas show in February. However, this does not negate the fact that the melodic Blue creative's name was mentioned during the 2024 Great Rap War.